Hey guys, it's Logan here with Hydra572. Today I'm doing our April account update, letting you guys know about some videos that we are hoping to produce here in April. You guys see some items in front of you. I will start in no particular order with the largest item. Here we have the Sog Fling Drawing Knives. I want to do a video showing you guys the modifications that I've done on these. You guys have probably already seen them before. Bent the string over, melted it into place, and on one of them, I believe it is this one, I sanded a nicer edge on. I want to go a little bit more into detail about that, talk about the way they came from the factory and why that wasn't suitable for a good throwing knife, in my opinion. I don't know if I will review these or not. I think that video might suffice, but we'll see. Moving on down, we have the Kershaw Echelon. Great little folding knife I want to get a review of up here in the near future. I got this baby back around Christmas. I've been carrying it intermittently, and I am a big fan of it. I think it's a strong competitor in its price bracket for an EDC blade for a one-knife kind of guy. Here we have the SOP knife made knife, the SOP pen made by Tops Knives. Uh, just a good little EDC pen that I've been using. Wasn't sure about how I felt about it ergonomically. It isn't the greatest. I will still say I have grown accustomed to it, and having a pen that I don't lose does actually mean a lot to me. It makes my day quite a bit easier. And a whole lot of people have been asking me about it, have been really interested in it, and have thought it looked cool. So this has really skyrocketed to the top. One of my favorite pieces of EDC gear, and this is going to be with me for a long time. I think I'm going to pick up one of the more expensive versions of it as well, what with the G10 instead of the nylon -y plastic stuff. Here we have the Quartermaster QTR4 Hannibal, Texas T finish. You guys saw the little warranty episode that I had with this blade. Great service from Quartermaster Knives. I'm excited to get a review up of this blade, but first I want to do some cut tests. I was babying this knife's lock for a while when I got it uh, after the warranty service for obvious reasons. I was a little bit scared by the first version that I got not being very strong. And as I thought about doing a review on this blade, I didn't know if I was going to give it a pass for hard use EDC type cutting tactical use, defensive use, all that stuff, I just didn't know. So I figure I need to do some testing on this blade and really determine if I think it will be strong enough and consistent enough to use in those capacities. I am still somewhat alarmed by how easy it would be to disengage the lock just by twisting your hand. But uh, if it holds up in the cutting test, you guys will know about it, and there will be a review either way here in the near future. Very cool blade. And here we have my Mora Knives Companion. You guys saw the first impressions, and I said that I wanted to do some testing. I've already done those tests. I have them filmed, but that kind of thing takes quite a while to edit, so this video will be up sometime here in the near future, and possibly a great time after that we will have a review. So there are the products that I hope to get to here in the near future. Also, as far as philosophy videos go, I want to make some videos that are discussing how we make our choices of what gear we buy, what we have in our EDC, and how we can spend our money more efficiently. So that's basically how I'm seeing the month of April. I'm still really busy, but you guys saw I got some more videos out, and I think what I want to try to do from now on is make two knife reviews a month and make sure I stick to that, and uh, beyond that, see if I can get some other cool stuff like philosophy videos, uh, usage video, all that kind of stuff, which will be additional. The main goal will be those two knives a month. These are my two for this month. I'm excited to get to it. Two really cool blades. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more of the same.